Hey, how's it going again, guys? So pretty much, I uh, woke up in the morning. I sold the size 14 Cool Grace today at uh, 7:32 in the morning. I honestly have my phone on Do Not Disturb, but uh, they sold, so I'm gonna go drop them off right now. Uh, pretty much, I had them at 4:50 before. Then I had them at 4:20. I had uh, pretty much offers between like 4:20 to 4:50 for the size 14 uh, Cool Grace. I know Stock X has them for about 3.91. But then the process fee is another thirty dollars. The shipping is I think like another seventeen or sixteen dollars, and then uh, I think uh, I forgot what was the other one that I saw that was another sixteen dollars, uh, and then I mean my bad. And then the shipping was eighteen, and then uh, Goat has them like around four ten too. So I ended up sending my brother's cool gray size fourteen man dead stock. Uh, I honestly got these from uh, pretty much I got these from Dickin Sporting Goods, Dickin Sporting Goods, which is DSG. Yeah, so you guys know if uh, I've been seeing a lot of people get scammed uh, from Facebook groups that uh, they will send money and then they'll probably like try to get the shoe and then they pay for a shipping label. Honestly, I do everything through eBay, so I sold these from um, I sold these at eBay. <laughs> I I just woke up right now too. I just I sold this. I was like, man, I actually sold a shoe. I'm like, what shoe did I sold? And I saw Cool Grace. I'm like, oh. Or like which size they end up selling and I end up selling the size 14 which is this one dead stock and everything uh let me just put the box back box is regular you guys know that with the sticker from uh dsg you guys know all the air Dry 11 has that sticker and uh yeah and uh yeah i was not expecting to sell these i uh, i dropped the red thunders too the price and everything since uh, i had them like at 400 but they dropped they were like around 330 350 so i had to fix that because uh I was uh, pretty much uh, putting my links on Facebook and I, st I stopped the promotion. So they won't uh, charge me for the eBay promotion because they do take away. So I ended up selling, uh, okay, so here's the profit, man. So I ended up selling these for pretty much, uh, let me close the door because you guys can't see them because it's shiny out there. Here, let me, there we go. There we go. So I ended up selling these for about 400. Uh, now that eBay has the 8% uh, fee where they take off on a, a shoe that's a hundred dollars or more so this ends up being um i end up i end up getting about 377 dollars or 300 and something cents so somewhere on there i was gonna say uh, to round it up is gonna be 378 so they end up taking about like 35 kind of like 32 dollars or 35 around there but uh, i have to check because i don't know if they're still gonna i don't know if they're still gonna take the uh ebay promotion since i just barely put that like around two three in the morning so that probably might be it too they might probably take that and then uh right now i'm just being uh when you sell on when you sell on ebay guys when you saw uh, uh, print out the shipping label for any shoes that you sell you're pretty much uh that kind of comes in a little bit later so the last three shoes that i sold was the uh, air Jordan 11 uh, legend blues the, this one the same uh, Jordan 11 silhouette, but low cut, uh, all triple white with the baby blue at the bottom. And then I sold the, uh, um, Nike Dunk Michigans. Uh, that one was pretty much blue with yellow. So the Michigan colorway. And then from that one, I saw the, uh, after that one, I think I saw the Seafoam. So I'm barely paying the shipping label for that, which I saw on my account on eBay. But, uh, yeah, man, I saw this, uh, I was going to hold off to see if I could sell another shoe. So I have to call a taxi right now because you guys know I don't drive, especially because I live in Los Angeles. I'm like, nah, it's like I'm not working right now. I mean, I'm trying to find I'm fine. I'm finding a job, you know, here and there. Uh, but it's just like because of the thing going on with the asthma. And then uh, that it's a uh, that's a situation. But I'll talk that for another time. And then I had to switch to contacts because then you can't see what glasses well. Uh, you have the um, gas mask. I mean, the mask on and it gets all foggy. But yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, other than that, guys, I sold these for <clears throat> 400 Um Can't complain, honestly. I mean, I was hoping to sell the other shoes like my Yeezys, but I don't think those are going to move. So I'm going to have to be, I'm going to sell those for pretty much here, pretty much at a, at a, pretty much at um third party stores you know or just hold off to them but uh yeah man this is a beautiful shoe oh well no but i already did that yeah because i sold I, and then from there i sold my 
the Jordan 11 breads from 2018, but that one didn't give me the shipping label that I was telling you guys about. But uh, yeah, so I don't, it kind of, with eBay, it kind of takes a while too. Like you end up paying for, I mean, you end up paying for shipping label uh, and it tells you the, it tells you the fee like 12 or $13 just to ship them out. But then they don't charge until later on. So like recently right now I got it. So I'm like negative $35 in my eBay account, which they're holding my funds for this shoe, which I made a $377 profit. But then from here, <laughs> the $377 profit, I have to subtract the eBay promotions and then the uh, the shipping label or the QR printing uh, fee to uh, send these out. So yeah, so they do take um, they do take a little bit. But uh, I think there's a, I think this is the first shoe that they uh, take out like eight percent. Uh, I think it kind of sold already. I don't know about the other two shoes, but I'm gonna check it out, guys. But uh, other than that, man, I'm kind of running out of air. My tongue is dry too, man, because I honestly I just woke up like I told you, and it's been getting, it's, it's been getting super hot in LA too. So you gotta stay hydrated, you guys. Stay hydrated. And then um, I have a dry mouth right now, so. That's why probably I left my mouth. Uh, I left my mouth. <laughs> I left my mouth open a bit. Uh, in the situation, you guys know how you guys sleep, and then you guys kind of accidentally leave your mouth open, and then your tongue kind of gets dry. So I kind of got like uh, dry mouth right now for that. But uh, yeah, man, uh, I'm gonna go drop these off. And uh, yeah, man, these were personally getting from my brother, but he's like, I already got. I had him. <laughs> I had gave him a Jordan Eleven. A pair of legend blues this was probably two years ago or one year ago uh got those in finish line guys and uh yeah i ended up winning the raffle be uh af before like finish line and jd sports uh have fixed their platform where like now it's just like you have to get exclusive access to join and uh yeah i honestly won a raffle from finish line some pumas for like uh i spent like 250 points uh it says <clears throat> and uh i'm still waiting for my email confirmation to get my free shoes that's honestly the first time that i honestly went in jd sports or finish line i don't know where that i entered but they're both the same uh company so it's just different names uh once uh jd sports more on the uk and then finish line is more in the, in the united states but yeah they uh i want some uh pumas uh, uh rs runners or something like that uh they they had a raffle i just entered one ticket i think and yeah i entered one ticket i checked for 250 points and i ended up winning some uh puma shoes but i still haven't got my uh my email where like oh like what size can i choose and all that so hopefully they'll contact me uh sooner because that uh, that's it's already been like two two or three days that happened and uh yeah but other than that guys uh just uh oh someone named marks bought these from me he has like 129 stars rating. So he bought these from me. Uh, I don't know if he saw it from my Facebook uh, sneaker groups. Like I was tagging like, oh, I sell sneakers on eBay. And uh, pretty much he bought these. But uh, <laughs> I am out of it today, guys. I was going to talk a little bit better. Try to be formal and everything. Like, hey, yeah, I sold these, this and that. But uh, yeah, I mean, here's pretty much the shoe. I always tell people, I always make a video. <clears throat> I always make a video when I pretty much sell a shoe, just in case someone wants to appeal it and everything, that they say it's not dead stock or it's fake and all this. I have the receipts and everything for the DSG. Got these on my app. I have the receipts and everything. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Not much, not, nothing much to say other than there was a Jordan restock. And uh, man, these look beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I still have my pair. I, I got my last size 11 and a half, but I mean, if it sells, it sells, you know, like I got to help family with a uh, rent, uh, food and, uh, pretty much survive. Cause well, survival pretty much, <laughs> well, pretty much help the family out, you know, since I don't have a job, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm fixing my asthma since, uh, situation. Cause, uh, I want to work. Don't get me wrong, but it's just having asthma, wearing a mask. And then having glasses, it's fogging up. It's annoying. And then if you don't wear your glasses, you do, you guys, uh, my people that wear glasses, you guys know, like, you guys don't wear your glasses for a certain amount of hours. You're like, you're like, 
you took okay so example you have your glasses you're like oh okay i can see the shoe way better you take them off you're like damn i could play like, let me get closer let me see this let me see this shoe <laughs> uh, but uh yeah so <laughs> glasses are important for certain people man right now like I have one more glasses, so I'm I'm able to see right now. But if I do take them off and don't don't wear them, I do get a migraine. But it's just an example. Like uh, certain people, like you don't have to wear your glasses all the time. I honestly just wear mine just uh because uh makes everything clearer. I just need mine pretty much to read and look from far. So far is uh in glass in glasses terms is near and then near it's far, but uh. For regular people, I just tell them, oh, yeah, I just use my glass to see far because they don't know what the hell is the difference between near and far because uh, it's it's in reverse for glasses. <laughs> like I was telling you, if you say, oh, I'm a nearsighted, uh, I, I wear nearsighted glasses, that pretty means that pretty that pretty much means far. You can't see from far. And then you're you know, if someone tells you like, oh, I'm a far, I'm a far. Uh, I wear a uh, far, gla far glasses. <laughs> Uh, yeah, pretty much far glasses. That means that they can't see from close. So, yeah, but they can see from far. I don't know how that works, but, yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, let you guys go, man. I'm going to go send these out. I'm going to make a one-minute video. And, uh, damn, just that smell of having a dead stock shoe, man. You got to, I mean, sneaker has to be like, I can't even breathe from my nose. <laughs> it's just like, a, I don't know, I have my nose broken, like you guys can see, man, but I need to go check with the doctor because I always tell him, like, yo, I can't ever breathe with my nose. I'm like, I probably got something stuck in my nose or something, but yeah, like right now it's like, man, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember if I hit myself last time, but yeah, but yeah. I'll see you guys around, man. Oh, these will be mess from my little brother. I just told him like, "Hey, yo, I saw your cool grades." I'm like, "Yeah." I'm like, "I'll buy you another shoe because I had got him the Thunder Four Lightnings." But yeah, man. All right, guys. I'll see you guys, around, man. Like, share, and subscribe, and uh, yeah. I mean, kind of did like a little blog, uh, talking about eBay pros and everything. But yeah, in between, you know.